guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I've got another Top 5 Tuesdays for you. This is a series I do in collaboration with the Glam Dr. Mona Khan. I will leave a link down to her channel and her video for this week in my description box. So this week we are talking about our Top 5 Summer Beauty Products. Now Mona and I always kind of decide on a category and sometimes we try and get really specific with it and then sometimes you just kind of leave it up to us like how we want to handle it. So I'm going to be talking about like the top five categories of beauty that I focus on in the summertime but I'll be giving you like a few different options in each category so I'm actually going to be talking about more than five products. Mona, don't kill me. So if you're interested in hearing what my top five summer makeup categories are, then just keep on watching. All right, so first up we have SPF. This is uh, definitely not a strong area of mine in that I just really don't like to wear it. I just don't like to apply it. If a product like the foundation or the concealer that I'm wearing has SPF in it, great. But I just hate that extra layer. It's usually something that like alters the look of my um, skin and my makeup and sometimes it breaks me out because I have such sensitive skin. And thank you guys, all of you have given me such amazing SPF recommendations. I still just have to get through what I have. But there are two products that I really like and that I put on without a problem. It doesn't break me out. I don't feel like it interferes with my makeup or whatever. And actually both of these products help my makeup process. So one is a primer. This is the Shantakai Ultra Sun Protection Sunscreen. It has an SPF 45 and it's a primer. It is the most interesting consistency. It's, it's runny, but when it goes on, it has like this amazing slip and it really just smooths out my skin and it allows my foundation or whatever makeup I put on top of it to really sit nicely. But this is also something I don't mind wearing on its own. It's not like a primer that needs to be covered, like it has a weird cast or you only put it on certain places. This I just put all over my face, pretty much sets down to nothing. It just gives your skin this sort of like blurred, perfecting kind of like a base to it and then you can put makeup on top or not. So I really like it and I like that it's 45, so it's a pretty high SPF I think for daily use. And it's oil free and it's paraben free. Um, it says to shake well before use, most definitely. The one downside to it is that it does smell a little funky and actually in a previous video when I've talked about this, someone commented that it smells like pickles. I think it was pickles to them. I don't think it smells like pickles, but I could see how someone would think it smells like pickles. It just smells, it smells like SPF, like it, it has kind of like a chemical scent to it. I would say it does take a little bit for that scent to kind of dissipate on the face, probably like between 30 minutes and an hour before I don't smell it at all. But upon first application, you will definitely smell like the sunscreen in this. So that is the Chantecai, uh Broad Spectrum SPF 45 Primer. And then the other SPF product I have is a setting spray. So this is the Kate Somerville SPF 50 uncomplicated SPF. It's a soft focus makeup setting spray. So this makes for a great primer and this makes for a great setting spray. So this is awesome because it comes in this can. It has this nice kind of constant spray. It's not like a pump. So you just get this like really, really lovely mist on your face and it's so easy to reapply. It's just such an easy product and for it to be SPF 50, it's kind of a no brainer and it actually makes for a really really wonderful setting spray. I did a whole video review on this so it's a wonderful product. I love it. It's easy to use and it kind of gives me like no excuse <laughs> to not have SPF on. So anyway this is coming out and I will definitely be using this in my routine. So next up is bronzer. I love a good bronzer especially in the summertime. So I have two to share with you. I have a matte bronzer and then a bronzer with a sheen. So I've talked about both of these bronzers quite a bit. So the first one is the Sicily Sun Glow Bronzing Gel Powder. I just love the formula of this bronzer. It is so silky, so smooth. It really feels like a gel. Here it is on my finger and it just gives your skin the most beautiful glow. It almost has like a highlighter built into it, but it just like illuminates your entire face or wherever you put the bronzer. But it just, you know, since you put bronzer, at least I do, around like the perimeter of my forehead and then down along my cheekbones, it gives you this like beautiful aura. So I love this bronzer. I've been loving this for a very, very long time. So the next bronzer is new to me, but definitely not a new bronzer. This is the Bobbi Brown Stone Street Bronzing Powder. 
I love this. This is such a good bronzer. It's matte. It has a great tone. It's very neutral. It works as contour for me. It works as bronzer and it blends perfectly. Like it's just a great all around bronzing powder. There it is swatched on my head. And you can see next to the Sicily, the Sicily is much warmer. This one is much cooler, much more neutral, has a little bit of red undertone, like a little bit of red to kind of give you that uh, natural kind of like sunburnt kind of look. And it's just great. It's just a great, great powder. This is definitely one of those bronzers I don't think is talked about enough. I've been talking about it more and more on my channel and I think more and more people are commenting like, yeah, I love that bronzer. It's just such a good one. I think this should be in everyone's collection. So the Bobbi Brown Bronzing Powder in Stone Street. Very, very good shade if you have a uh, similar skin tone to me. So next up I have a product. This actually isn't really a category, but this is a product that I purchased a while ago and I've been waiting for the summer months to come to use. So this is the Natasha Denona Diamond and Blush Palette and this is in the shade Citrus. So Daria, which is the other palette, that one is a little bit cooler, it's pinkier, and that one I used a lot when I first purchased it in the uh, cooler months, it was winter time, and it was just perfect and I just, I just love it. This one I feel like just screams summertime, especially with this uh, blush here. It's just, it's so bright, it's so coral, and then you have this like amazing bright yellow highlight. It's such a cool shade. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch that shade for you. Here is Citrus, and on the skin it just leaves this cool, almost like duochrome effect. And I'm not really like a duochrome highlighter kind of gal, but this is just irresistible. That is just so much fun. And I just love just sort of sprinkling that right on the top of my cheekbones. Every once in a while, it's just so much fun. And then you have this cream base here, which is like a great base if you want to amp up your bronzer. And then there are these other kind of like glittery highlight shades. It's just a great palette. And again, I think it's just perfect now that the weather is warmer and summer is here. This was just like waiting in the wings, ready to be used. So I'm definitely gonna be using this a lot in the coming months. All right, so next up we have a category again, and this is like the one swipe shadow. So I decided to go with some of these Tom Ford cream and powder eye colors. I just love these because you can just use the cream shadow if you want. It's a great uh, one color shadow. And then if you want, you can add a little bit of this kind of glitter topper to it. These are very, very sheer. And all they do is just add a little bit of sparkle to the cream base. Uh, Naked Bronze, I think this was the very first one that they came out with. And this is just such a perfect summertime shade. Here is the cream base. Let me go ahead and add the glitter on top. So I feel like you go from day to like pool party very, very quickly with these. So this is Naked Bronze. And then next I have Young Adonis. This is a newer version. This was the sixth one that they came out with. This is like the cooler cousin to Naked Bronze and cooler in tone, not like cooler. Um, but cooler in tone. So there's Young Adonis, and here it is, swatch. So you can see it's a little bit more uh, like silvery. And then I'm just gonna put some of the glitter on top. And it just makes that silver really pop. I remember when Young Adonis first came out, people did not like this glitter. They thought it was too hard pressed, that it wasn't you know, pigmented enough. But as soon as you put it right on top of this color base, it just turns it into this like wet looking shine. I think it's beautiful. I think it's really great. And then this is one of the more recent ones. This is the 10th color that they came out with. This is as your sun. And this is the one that's like a bright, bright turquoise. Oh my God, this is so perfect for the beach. And then let me throw the glitter on top. Here is the glitter. And you pat that right on top, turn a little bit silvery, and then it's almost like a little bit of a duochrome. There's like a little bit of like a pinky, kind of purpley tone to it. It's such an interesting glitter topper shade. It almost looks like peachy pink in the pan, but then when you put it on top of the blue, I feel like it turns like a pinky purple. So I love any of these cream and powder eye colors, but I love these three, especially for the summertime. I just think they're really pretty and they're just so easy to use. Like, I know when I'm on vacation, it takes a lot for me to have to put makeup on, but 
you know, if I feel like I need a little something something, I want it to be easy, and those are perfect. And then last but not least is the category of lip gloss. I love lip gloss. I wear it all year round. I'm a self-proclaimed lip gloss junkie and in fact my favorite lip combo generally is like a lip liner and then just a lip gloss on top. So I have a few here that I've been loving lately that I've been loving for a long time um, and let's just start with like one that I've mentioned a gazillion times. This is the Fenty Beauty uh, gloss bomb, I think what is what it's called, in the color Fenty Glow. I feel like I'm waiting for her to come out with more colors because this is like on everyone's favorite. Everyone loves this. It looks good on so many different skin tones, yet this is the only color she has of lip glosses. So I feel like maybe she's coming out with like a gigantic line of lip glosses. Hopefully that'll be coming soon and hopefully she'll include one that's kind of like gold tinted because you guys know I love a gold lip. Um, and speaking of gold lip, this uh, Jennifer Lopez Inglot collaboration, this is Goldy Lips. This lip gloss, I love. It's just, it's so good. Oh, let me start swatching these. Here's the Fenty Glow Gloss Balm. And then here is the J.Lo Inglot um, Goldy Lips. There's that one. So it's very, very sheer, has a little bit of sparkle, gives your lips like a little bit of warmth with that gold tone beautiful. The Clay de Peau Radiant Lip Gloss in Rose Quartz. I think you guys have heard me talk about this quite a bit. This is um, almost like a non-lip gloss, but it has a little bit of sparkle. It has like a muted sheen, and the formula is so comfortable. It's just, it's so nourishing. It sits on your lips beautifully. You really have to try it to believe it because it's not sticky, but it also doesn't feel like it's gonna budge. It is, out of all of these lip glosses, my favorite formula. So Clay de Peau Radiant Lip Gloss. And then here's one that I've had for a while that I really love. And then this next lip gloss I've had for quite some time. I love this one. This is the Surat Lip Luster in Ooh La La. And this is kind of reminiscent to the Clay de Peau uh, Rose Quartz. Guys, I'm sure can see a theme here. Um, but the formula of this is a little bit different and the sparkles, I don't know if it's coming across on camera, but the sparkles and the tone of this Ooh La La is a little bit more uh, warm and golden. So that one is Surat Ooh La La. And then last but not least, this is one I think maybe I've mentioned in my favorites, but this is the Chantecai uh, Brilliant Gloss in Modern. And it looks pretty plain in the tube. But if you take a closer look, it has um, like a peach base with like a little bit of like gold uh, shimmer in there. And it's just, it's so, so pretty. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's really hard. There's some things that are so hard to swatch because they really just don't come across camera very well. <laughs> can you sense a theme here? <laughs> And I love glosses like this because you can just sort of change up your lip liner and then you have a completely different lip look, but you get the same kind of finish and little bit of sparkle that you like from the lip gloss. So I'm loving these lip glosses for the summertime. They're the ones that I've been reaching for the most. And I say this before my Pat McGrath lip gloss kit comes in. So I got the everything kit. I got all 14 because I just, I love her. I love lip glosses. It just made sense to get all of them. Uh, so definitely keep an eye out for that video. I will definitely get that video up as soon as I get that delivery. And that's it. So those are my top five categories or products for the summertime. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what you can't live without during the summer months. I would love to hear from you. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Do not forget to check out the Glam Dr. Mona Khan's picks for this week. I can't wait to see what she picks. And subscribe before you leave. I'll see you in my next video.